Scott. Lights like we professionals. How's that go, Scott? All the difference in the world. Yeah. The lights that Mike put up. And Alan turned them on. <laughs> give, me a, give me a hot one. Hey! Hey! Well, him Billy Sanger. Sing me a song about a cold-hearted woman done a good man wrong. Yeah, the audio's looking real good. I think you're dialed in. Just bolted the camera to a All right, then. rod on here. Look at that. Sounds really good. Right. Yeah. Hey, guys. Welcome to 3 Mississippi. Sid, Mike, and Frankie, and Scott Southworth here from Nashville. Woo! He is our singer-songwriter friend, and he is going to pre be performing tonight out here at our neighbor's pavilion and we are going to show you uh, some of that and Mike and Frankie are going to be getting up and doing some songs as well so we're going to be showing that to you tonight as well and we hope you enjoy this video is definitely a little different than our normal video but you guys have been asking for it because you know that they both sing so you ask and you shall receive you enjoy I'm gonna do a quick line check and you guys tell me if this is too loud for y'all, okay? Let's see here, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna belt it just for a second. Uh, well, get out of that bed and wash your face and hands. Get out of that bed and wash your face and hands. Put some noise in the pocket, get your phone in the pots and pans. How's that, is that too loud? A little bit too loud? Okay. Of course you're sitting right in front and saying it's loud. But no, I don't want you to do I was, uh... Anybody but y'all up front, how's the volume? How's the volume? I, I, I was doing this event and uh, it, there, was, there was food in the very back and people were getting food and I, I was doing a little sound check. And I and I and I get done. I said, "How was that?" And way back by the food, somebody said, "Lower." So I said, "How was that?" <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> yeah. You and I are going to be best friends now. I forgot. You forgot? Joetta. What is it? Joetta. Joetta. I'm Scott. Nice to meet you. Uh, and uh, Alan and Lisa. Thank you so much for letting me come to this beautiful place and play some music for y'all. And, and Mike and Sid, who, who introduced me to Alan and Lisa, thank you guys. Uh, you should clap for them, too. That was very Jeb Bush's, wasn't it? Please clap. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not getting political, I promise. Anyways, I live outside of Nashville, Tennessee. I've lived there for about uh, 19 years. And uh, I'm a songwriter, and I, I write traditional country songs. And if you listen to country radio, you know that they don't play traditional country songs on country radio. So I quit trying to pitch my songs to people, and I just started recording them myself. So uh, I'm going to be playing songs that I wrote primarily. I'm just letting you all know what to expect. Um, if you'd like to hear something, you can just write your request on a $20 bill and put it in here and, uh, and I'll be happy to butcher almost anything for you. I'll do the title track of uh, my, my second to last CD that's, uh, actually I've made a bunch of CDs, but uh, this one is called Hey Hill Billy Singer and the song goes, oh, I should also say, just remember when you're listening to my songs that Every saint has a past, and every sinner has a future. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> hey, 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 Billy Sanger, sing me a song about a cold-hearted woman done a good man wrong. Here's a 20 in a bucket. 
keep the sands coming. I filled it up all night long. I need a group beer drinking, tear weeping, girl cheating, broken hearted country song. Most Friday nights I'd be that guy to step across the floor. Since she said goodbye, don't feel like dancing anymore. Didn't see her leaving coming. Man, she took me by surprise. They say misery loves company. I need me some tonight. Singer, sing me a song about a cold hearted woman done a good man wrong. Here's a 20 in the bucket, keep the sands coming. I fill it up all night long. I need a beer drinking girl, cheating, tear weeping, broken hearted country song. Yeah, I do. How about Sid on the camera there, right there? Hi, Sid. Do I look natural? Right well, you think by now I drank my way out of this neon heck, but I'm stuck on this lost highway. Hank Williams knew so well, and I understand the band must play a line dance now and then. But when you played Hank's, your cheating heart felt like a long lost friend. Hey, hey, Billy Singer, sing me a song about a cold hearted woman done a good man wrong. Here's a 20 in the bucket, keep the sadness coming. I filled it up all night long. I need a root beer, drinking burl, cheating, tear, weeping, broken hearted country song. Cheating, root beer, drinking, broken hearted country song. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. 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 I'm going to do really my best tonight to edit my songs. No guarantees, but I'm going to try. I'm editing on the fly, so wish me luck. But I've taken out all of my uh, hardcore gangster rap for the evening. <laughs> Who just said, oh, <laughs> somebody's disappointed. Some of you aren't gonna feel this song yet, but I want you to remember this moment. And in about, well, let's see, in your case, in about 50 years, young lady, I want you to remember this moment and think, huh, I remember that song that guy did, okay? This is the title track of my most recent CD. Bow, bow, bow. These old bones sure like complaining when they drag me out of bed. I don't mind the aching pain and good to know that I ain't dead. These old bones don't get nowhere fast. They got me this far. These old bones like picking on an old flat top guitar. I don't know much, but one thing I know for sure. These old bones ain't ever been this old before. It's harder to recuperate. They don't bounce back like they did. But when the frisky lubricates, well, they feel just like the kids. These old bones don't dance, truth to tell. They never really could. These old bones got enough to know that they still got it good. I don't know much, but one thing I know for sure. These old bones ain't never been this old before. You might call me a fossil, a relic past my prime, but my baby likes away. Yeah, these old bones take their time. They're what God gave me to work with until he calls me home. Said, I got these old bones. Okay, you don't have to clap, but if there's any old bones in here, just silently clap. 
and let me know that you're here. Thank you. guitar solo like thing you're gonna get all night. I ain't planning on these old bones getting planted no time soon. I still got a lot of miles to go. Plenty left to do as long as guitars pick it hot and honky tonk surf beer on ice. Well, you can keep that chair to rock Cause of these old bones just to hit their pride I don't know much, but one thing I know for sure These old bones ain't never felt this good before Whether you might call me a fossil Really past my prime But my baby likes the way yeah, These old bones take their time They were God gave me to work with Said, I got these old bones. Nothing but net. I said, I got these old bones. Down, down, down. When I wake up in the morning and everything's popping and cracking and making funny noises, I look up and I just say, Thank God for these old bones. In my car, the black Chevy, in the glove box, in the in the console, is a glasses case. Can you bring that to me? Well, you can't see. I, I have my sunglasses on, but I don't need them, and, uh, and I can't read my own set list. So thank you. Thank you for yelling out, you can't see? My next CD is going to be called These Old Eyes. You're going to get old, too, one day. I won't be here to see it. But it'll happen. What? In the, in the, con you know, the console in the middle? You said glove box. I, I know, and then I said the console. Yes, you did. Okay, show of hands. That's it. So anyways, so I wrote this song. Okay, so I wrote this song because I was brushing my teeth, going to bed, and I'm brushing my teeth, and I'm in the mirror, and my wife's brushing her teeth, and I'm looking at her reflection, and I'm looking at my reflection, and I'm looking at her reflection, and this song literally just came out. I knew at the time that our band needed another cha-cha. There we go. Thank you very much. Frankie, everybody. Okay, so I knew I needed another cha-cha, and then this song idea just came to me, and I wrote it in just a few minutes. And I was about 38 when I wrote this song. Let's guess there's any dancers here, it is a cha-cha. When did my pants get this big? How come my shirt fits so tight? When did reality shows and one root beer make a heck of a night? When did my hair get this thin? How come there's more than one chin? How come I'm falling apart and you're still as pretty as you've ever been? That romantic how come I'm so out of breath after just one flight of stairs what makes my daughter think I'd let her go out in those outfits she wears now preach when I wrote that song my daughter was three and she insisted on dressing herself 
And so she'd come out wearing the most ridiculous combinations. So that's why I wrote that line. But then later, she became a 16-year-old. So I'm going to sing that whole verse again. How come I'm so out of breath? It took on a whole new meaning. After just one flight of stairs. What makes my daughter think I'd let her go out in those outfits she wears? When did I stop being cool? How come I don't know what's in? How come I'm falling apart and you're still as pretty as you've ever been? We used to stay out all night drinking, dancing as late as we please. Remember that, Mom and Dad? So tell me, when did a night on the town start to mean Chuck E. Cheese? When did it stop being cool? How come I don't know what's in? You're still as pretty as you've ever been. This would be a harmonica solo. Maybe banjo. I don't know. What do you think? Harmonica. I agree. By the way, your lawn looks amazing. <laughs> when did I stop being cool? How come I don't know what's in? Yeah, yeah. How come I'm falling apart and you're still as pretty as you've ever been? Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm falling apart and I do it all over. You missed all my good songs. We're here for the repeat. Oh, good. Nice to have you here. Hello, hello. So, okay, uh, uh, are you guys married? How long have you been married? Don't, don't ask him. I know, I'm asking you. Don't, I don't want to put the pressure on him. 53 years. Is she right? <laughs> the answer is yes. Always yes to that question. Always yes. Always yes. How, how about you guys? Eleven years. Okay. Anybody else? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Ryan. Twelve. Twelve. Mike and Sid have been about nineteen. Well, you played at our wedding. I know. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. All right. Uh, how about y'all? 25. 25. On the 27th of this month. All right, I just wrote this song for you. You're welcome. Uh, no, this is uh, this is a song uh, that I wrote for my wife on our 25th anniversary. We've been married for 32 years now, and uh, and um, and I, that's not entirely true. I didn't write it on our 25th anniversary. I tried for a year to write my wife an anniversary song. And I couldn't do it. Because I don't know if you've noticed, you will by the end of the, our time together, I don't write romantic songs. I don't write love songs very well, so I'm always afraid they're too schmaltzy. So I went a whole year trying to write one and couldn't do it. And at the end of the 25 years anniversary time, a friend of mine from high school had his 25th anniversary, and he wrote this beautiful thing about he and his wife and had 25 years together and it's been an incredible ride. And he said, honey, let's put another quarter in the ride. That was it. So that's what I wrote. And since he's not a songwriter, I don't have to share any writing credit with him. <laughs> 
Anyways, this song is on my Hey Hillbilly Singer CD, so if you'd like to remember this special moment, and I know you do, feel free to buy a CD. Uh, and it goes like this. It starts out with twin fiddles going ba 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 da 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 Our friends were taking bets how long this thing would last as they stood beside us on Norwin Day. That's true, too. Well, honey, we sure proved them wrong. 25 years holding on. Two young foolish lovers blew their moths away. Living on white bread and rice, pinching pennies, stretching dimes. We was good back then and barely getting by. But just look how far we've come, still together, still in love. Honey, let's put another quarter in the ride. Oh, we were one and lost, laughed and cried throughout our story. Had for better and for worse. We can't say we've had boring. Love's crazy, no doubt. Roller coaster up and down. To say it's all been fun, well, that would be a lie. Hey, but we made it through it all, standing like that China wall. Honey, let's put another quarter in the ride. We were won and lost, laughed and cried throughout our story. We had for better and for worse. We can't say we've had more. And this is my favorite part of the song. Well, the hard work's all been done. The kids are grown and gone. Praise the Lord. And what's next? It's up to us to redefine. Yeah, there's a big world left to see. Let's go find it, you and me. Let's put another quarter in the ride. La, 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 la. Let's put another quarter in the ride. Thank you very much. I, I don't like to brag, but I, I just kind of know the right things to say to my wife at all times. You know, the other day she said, I'm so mad. And I said, again or still? <laughs> So I know all these one. You know, it's so funny. Only half the audience laughs at that joke. <laughs> Sometimes it is too close, close to home. Yeah, yeah, well, I know. No, no, no. My wife is amazing. I mean, think about it. I was 38 years old when I realized I was a songwriter, to Braxton's question. He asked, how long have you been a songwriter? I said, I think I always was, but I didn't realize it because I say things like I think I always was. <laughs> Why on earth would I think I could write songs when I don't know how to talk? But, uh, but at 38, with two kids, my wife said, let's move 2,000 miles away from everybody we know and let's go try to be a songwriter. And so that is pretty huge, you know? Um, and if she was here right now, she'd say that she never actually said that. But that's what I heard. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> I'm going to try to do this. I, I, I only do it around Father's Day time, but it is Father's Day, and I see a lot of dads here. Um, I wrote this song with a buddy of mine named Mark Allen Barnett. Mark wrote a song. You guys know uh, uh, David uh, Ball? You know the country singer David Ball? He had a hit several years ago called Too Much Blood in My Alcohol Level. And, uh, and my friend Mark Allen wrote that song, and he's written a couple other big old hits. But uh, we, were, we were talking one day, and we'd known each other for years, and we realized that we both had sons named Logan, and they were both left-handed. 
and they both didn't listen to a word we said. Yeah. And so we decided to write a song for our kids. So he and I decided to write a song for our sons. And as we're writing it, we realized that we were also writing it for our dads. And, uh, and then we recorded it, and he recorded a version, and I recorded a version. And I gave his version to my son, and he gave my version to his son. That way he thought maybe the kids would listen, since it wasn't their dad's voices. But uh, anyways, wish me luck. I haven't played this one in a while, but happy Father's Day, y'all. If you're reading this right now, I guess you found my little note Wrapped up around a couple bills, don't let your mama know You're off to find yourself in this big world, me, I never crossed the county line Your higher education began when you left home we gave you this foundation, now you're standing on your own. I know you've got it all figured out, but here's some words to the wise. Credit cards ain't money, don't throw your cash around. Never build yourself up by tearing others down. Try to listen more than talk. Make sure you walk the walk, follow through on everything you say. You can take it from me now, or don't and you'll find out the hard way. The hard way. Well, you're going to have some rough times up ahead, but that's just part of life. Stay true to you, pace yourself, everything will turn out fine. It's okay to change direction, and a good man will admit it when he's wrong. I know you got your roads to sow, but don't throw them all away. There's someone special out there, I guarantee she's worth the wait. So keep your heart wide open and remember, when the right one comes along Don't say you love her till you do Then never let her go You can't put toothpaste back in a tube Leave hurting words alone Just try to be the man she meets Always ask for seconds please And tell her that she's beautiful each day You can take it from me now or don't and you'll find out the hard way Well that's a letter that your grandpa gave to me when I left home I've kept it all these years Time I give it to you now Thank you. That's a, uh, that's a little creative thing we call forgetting the last verse. I'm going to give you one free Mike Crouch CD. No, no. I'll give you one of mine. you got to tell me who wrote this song. But uh, this was a song that I used to sing to my kids every night. This was their lullaby. And, and that's the honest to goodness truth. They'd ask me to sing this for them every night. So this is what I sang to my little kids who are now grown up and weird. I don't know why they're weird. I'm sure it has nothing to do with this song, but uh... Well, my daddy left home when I was three and he didn't leave a lot for my mama and me Just this old guitar and an empty bottle of booze That's who sang it. That's not who wrote it. 
don't you be looking at your phones. Now I don't blame them that he run and hid, but the meanest thing that he ever did was before he left, he went and named me Sue. Well, he must have thought that it was quite a joke, and he got lots of laughs from lots of folks. It seemed I had to fight my whole life through. Yeah, some guy would giggle and I'd get red, some guy'd laugh, I'd just bust his head. I tell you, life ain't easy for a boy named Sue. Well, I grew up quick and I grew up mean. My fists got hard and wits were keen, and I roamed from town to town to hide my shame. I made a vow to the moon and stars, I'd search them honky tonks and bars, and I'd kill that man that gave me that awful name. Do you know who wrote it? You kind of look like maybe you did. No? Okay, I'm just checking. Let's see here. It was Gatlinburg in late July, and I just did tell my throat was dry, and I thought I'd stop and grab myself a brew. In an old saloon on a street of mud, there at the table dealing stud sat the dirty mangy dog that named me Sue. I knew that snake was my own sweet dad from a worn out picture that my mama had had. I knew that scar on his cheek and his evil eye. He was big and bent and gray and old. I looked at him and my blood ran cold and I said, My name is Sue. How do you do? Now you're going to die. Every night, this is what my kids wanted before they went to bed. <laughs> a little softly and tenderly? Nope. We want boy named Sue. Well, I hit him hard right between the eyes and he went down, but to my surprise, he come up with a knife He cut off a piece of my ear. So I busted a chair right across his teeth and we crashed through the walls and into the street just a kicking and a gouging in the mud and the blood and the root beer. I tell you, I fought tough for man, but heck, I can't remember when he kicked like a mule and he bit like a crocodile. Yeah, I heard him laugh and then I heard him cuss. He reached for his gun, but I drew mine first, and he stood there looking at me, and he began to smile. He said, "Oh, son, this world is rough, and if a man's got to make it, well, he's got to be tough, and I knew I wouldn't be there to help you along. So I gave her that name and I said goodbye. I knew you'd have to get tougher or die. It's that name, boy, helped to make you strong. Well, you just fought one heck of a fight, and I know you hate me, and you got the right to kill me now. I wouldn't blame you if you do. I but you ought to thank me before I die for the gravel in the gut and the spit in your eye, cause I'm that son of a gun that named you Sue. So when I lived in Southern California, I gigged a lot with my band, and so I missed some things, and one of the things I missed was a wedding that my family went to, and uh, they went to the wedding, it was at a church wedding, and then the, the reception was in the Church Family Life Center, and they had karaoke, and my kids <laughs> decided to play a boy named Sue. And when they got to that verse, they did not say, son of a gun. <laughs> so I get home at 2 in the morning, and for some reason, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Anyways, sorry about that. I got all choked up. I threw down my gun. I called him my pa, and he called me his son, and I walked away with a different point of view. And I think about them every now and then, every time I try and every time I win. And I think to myself, if I ever have a son, I'm going to name him Frankie or <laughs> Sid or Lisa. Anything but Sue. Is there a Sue in the room? Okay, good. I hate that name. Lisa let me fish in her pond today, and uh, I've been fishing all my life. I grew up in Oregon. We used to go fishing salmon, trout, sturgeon, crappie, perch, 
Then I come here, bluegill, bluegill, bluegill. All I've ever caught in Tennessee was bluegill. I've never caught a bass. And I finally got to catch a bass on this pond today. So thank you, Lisa. So anyways, I dedicate this song to my friend Lisa. Are you going to go fishing? Okay, well this song's for you. My shooting tie feels like a noose today. And these old city streets are mean. I think I'll sneak out and drive down to the lake. Find me a spot that's cool and green. Put my line in the water and a bobber on top. Crack a cold beer, turn the phone off. Wait until I get a little nibble. I'm just fishing. I got bait on a hook, man. Look at that view. Nowhere to go, got nothing to do. But wait until I get a little nibble. I'm just fishing. Fiddles would go la Snapper stretched his neck out for a little sun. Willow trees give me a little shade. Lazy dragonfly, many the only one. Putting me through a perfect day. With a line in the water and a bobber on top, crack cold beer. Turn a, wait, crack a root beer, turn the phone off and wait until I get a little nibble. I'm just fishing. I got bait on a hook, man, look at that view. Nowhere to go, got nothing to do but wait until I get a little nibble. I'm just fishing. Got my line in the water with a bobber on top, crack a root beer, and turn the phone off and wait until I get a little nip. I'm just fishing. No strike on a lure, I got worms in a sack. I hooked a couple cats, but I threw them both back. Wait until I get a little nibble. Only wait until I get a little nibble. Just fishing. Thank you very much. Uh, that is song is on my brand new CD, which will come out late August, early September. I'm this close to getting it done. A couple more, one more vocal session and a and a photo shoot, <laughs> and then uh, it'll be all done. Oh, look, she's gonna she get ready to take the picture. All right. Again, my name is Scott Southworth, and if any of you are on the Facebook, you can find me at Scott Southworth Music. If you're on Instagram, I'm at Say Howdy Scott. Twitter is Say Howdy Scott. And on Tinder, I'm, uh, I'm at Michael Crouch. No, 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 just kidding. Uh, anyways, I'm going to take a break, but I've got a special treat for you. Uh, we're going to have a special guest performance by uh, a couple lovely people. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mike and Frankie Crouch. No backing out now, kiddo. How Scott and, uh, and I know each other, and, and Sid. We played music never together, no. uh, but in the same circuit at the same time, a long time ago, like 20 years ago and some. Scott was the lead singer of this band, and I was the lead singer of this band. And you know, there was a debate about uh, you know which band was on top. Well, Scott's still doing it, so. <laughs> 
You figure it out. <laughs> He looked down into her breasts and said, say a prayer for me. She drew her arms around him, whispered, God will keep us free. They could hear the riders come. He said, this here's my last fight. If they take me back to Texas, they won't take me back alive. So you guys, let's hear it for Scott Southworth. This guy has been a close friend for a long time, or at least he's pretended to be, and I really appreciate that. And, and let's hear it for Alan and Lisa for, uh, for opening this place up and letting us come down here and have a good time. Uh, you know, just good, good, good family fun. Yes. 